few important steps that you need to consider before you start your installation of your engineered floor. Regardless of your subfloor type, there are three essential principles to follow when getting ready. Clean, flat, and dry. First, ensure that your subfloor is clean, meaning it's free of debris, dust, and dirt. Use a broom, shop vac, or both to make sure it is spotless. Next, you should make sure that your subfloor is flat. Check for any high spots or low spots and sand or fill them as needed. A straight edge or level can help you identify any problem areas. Finally, you need to be certain that your subfloor is dry. As we discussed earlier, proper moisture mitigation is crucial for a successful installation. If you're working with a concrete subfloor, consider using a moisture meter to check its moisture content before proceeding. You can find a full list of helpful tools in the warranty, installation, and care guide for this floor. It's also a good idea to have a moisture barrier and underlayment in place before starting as they help with insulation and moisture protection. Let's get into that. Moisture mitigation is crucial because excessive moisture in the subfloor can lead to a variety of issues such as warping, buckling, and even mold growth. We will not need a moisture barrier for this install. Since we're working on a wood subfloor, it's not required. We're still laying down an underlayment though. Underlayment is going to help this click and install floor feel sturdier once it's all in place. Before we do that, there's one more step to take care of, planning for our layout. In planning our layout, we want to measure the room and determine the direction we want the planks to run. Typically, it's best to install the planks parallel to the longest wall or the primary light source and focal point. Our underlayment should run perpendicular to help maximize the integrity of our finished floor. We plan that out in advance because we have to put down our underlayment before we lay our boards. Now let's get to it. When laying our underlayment, make sure it covers the entire subfloor. Overlap the edges and secure them with tape so that it's continuous and seamless. Trim any excess material as necessary. And there you have it. With a properly prepared subfloor and underlayment in place, we are now ready to move on to the main event. Click installation of our engineered hardwood.